Welcome back to Summit Racing Quick Flips. Today we're going to address some frequently asked questions about master cylinder bore sizing. So prepare to be bored. In our previous videos about the uh, braking system components as far as master cylinders and disc brake versus drum brake systems go, we, we, we addressed um, some generalities as far as what master cylinders are, are right for an application. The thing about it is, is that this is one of those things that you really got to do your research to determine which one's going to be correct if you're building a custom system because there's a lot of different ranges of master cylinders out there that are available. The main factor that's going to go come into play is is, is the bore sizing of the master cylinder, which I think most people have a little bit of confusion about as far as what's right for what type of system. Um, in reality, you're going to come to find that the bore size is critical to how that, that brake system is going to function. And it has a lot to do with pressure as well as capacity. Logic would tell you that a larger bore size in a master cylinder should produce more pressure, but that's actually not true. Because of fluid velocity and fluid movement, in most cases, the smaller the bore of a master cylinder means the more pressure you're going to end up with at the caliper assembly or the wheel cylinder assembly. Whereas if you have a larger bore master cylinder, it is actually going to produce less pressure. It's actually going to give you a harder pedal feel as an end result. Having a general understanding of bore size um, is, is critical to selecting the proper master cylinder for your application. Getting the right master cylinder is all about having the proper pressure, whether it be at the caliper or at the wheel cylinder. Generally speaking, we want the pressure at the caliper to be somewhere between 900 to 1200 PSI. The question is, how do you know if it, that master cylinder is going to make that pressure at that caliper assembly? The thing about it is, is that you won't know. It, it's kind of one of those things that becomes sort of a guessing game in the end to determine which one's going to be right. With the right amount of pedal pressure, you almost always will be able to get there. The thing about it is, is what type of pedal feel do you really want from that vehicle and how do you really want the brakes to respond? Some, some prime examples of, of, of figuring out which way you need to go with the master cylinder is, is let's say you put a master cylinder on and, and the, the pedal pressure, it seems pretty extreme. It's got a hard pedal. That usually is an indication that the bore cylinder or the piston size um, of that master cylinder is too large meaning that it's, it's not creating enough pressure at the caliper assembly to go ahead and give you that, that, that loose pedal feel that you want with good braking. Whereas the opposite could also be true where you have an extremely soft pedal to where the brakes are real grabby. Well, that could mean that the, the, the bore size is actually too small and you're building too much pressure too quickly, and therefore you've got to go up in size as far as the bore size of the master cylinder. Supplying information on which master cylinder is exactly right for your application is really not possible for us to do via, via video. Every application is, is completely different from the next and it will have specific needs. So if you need more information or more help on selecting which master cylinder is right for your application, please contact our tech department at 330-630-0240. For more quick flicks, visit the Summit Racing YouTube channel. Visit Summit Racing online at www.summitracing.com. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com backslash summit racing. Or like Summit Racing on Facebook at facebook.com backslash summit racing equipment.